Hello and welcome to the final episode of our Laurentish campaign. In the last episode, we went ahead and we reclaimed land that our colonial vassal Toromar had lost to the Dragon Dominion and also pushed them forward quite a little bit, uh, making the borders look a little bit nicer. We do have Istranar here, who I would go to war with, but that would be requiring to go to war with the Dragon Dominion. And it sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> Uh, as for right now, we are just kind of chilling. We are waiting for one more mission, only one more, and that requires us to study on up. We need to become renowned in our, uh, what was it? It was uh, transmutation. Right now we are making our way towards being uh, proficient, I think is what it's called, or talented, talented, that's what it is. So that's just going to take a little bit of time, which means that we have some time to kind of do whatever we want. Uh, and I think the best way to spend time is to uh, go to war. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think we're going to be going to war. We have claims over here on this side of the, uh, the dame's head. And I see no reason why we shouldn't go ahead and take them out, right? Makes sense to me. Uh, Armory Temple. No, you are not willing to be vassalized. All of you guys hate me, so you're not willing to be vassalized either. Bussalar is our ally. Somehow Vern still holds this. Uh, whatever. So it looks like the Magisterium is going to be who we uh, will want to. Well, they're guaranteed by Arnon, which is fine. Except I think we still have a truce with the Magisterium, don't we? No, we know. We're good. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to war with the Magisterium to grab some of these. Get aboard with Istralor. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and move all of our troops on over and get ready for that war. Just a nice little fun war, just for the heck of it. Uh, yeah, I think it's looking fine. Now, where do we have rebels? We have rebels down in the very, very far south. Okay, uh, that we can take care of. Let's get all of these heavies together. Hopefully they actually, uh, you know, <laughs> don't die this time. Seems that my ships are having a hard time staying alive in this campaign. So hopefully they can actually do that. Here we go. Take care of those rebels for our vassal. We are going to have to cross, and the Magisterium has lots of boats. Ooh, who is taking high naval attrition here? Yeah, yeah, I could see why that would cause high naval attrition. Um, these galleys might be dead. Okay, we're good. Ooh, just barely getting them back into port. 5% on them. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely cutting it a little close. A little bit close. All right, uh, Magisterium. Hello. Actually, I'm going to have to wait for those uh, galleys to be ready. They were kind of an important part of my war plan here. Um, that's fine. The fur twade... Fur twade. Fur trade dwindles. Uh, let's go for naval supplies, I guess. Uh, good luck in Busalar. That is fine with me. Fine with me. All right, that's probably good enough for our galleys here. Let's bring them on over. We will hopefully it's just big enough to where they're scared of our navy and then they don't engage. That's the plan. That's the plan. Alright, let's get these boats on over. And let's go ahead and declare a war here. Ardenin won't even join. Cringe. Uh Dames Cross, sure. And we kill two of their heavies and we cross, and that will be the war. It is quite literally that easy for us. And we'll also make sure those rebels don't pop up. We do have some Gwedi rebels that want to pop up, interestingly enough. Uh, looks like they're in our vassal's land, which is fine. We have 40,000 troops up there. They can take care of it. Vertesk, how many troops do you have? Wow. Okay. Vertesk just chilling with 60,000 troops. Just vibing. Love to see it. Wow. I mean, I did give them a lot of land. I just didn't, didn't quite expect them to do that well. Um... But I'll take it. Uh, gladly. I will gladly take it. Alright, keep on moving forward. This should be a very, very easy war for us to win. Very easy war. In fact, we could probably already peace out. All I want are these two provinces, the ones that I have claims on. Perfect, thank you. Take whatever money you will, and peace out. Easy. Uh, is there anyone I can release here as a vassal? Um... There is not. Hmm, who would I like to vassalize then? I think like Moonhaven maybe would be a good vassal for me. You know, we kind of like, we vassalize the elves of the area. I mean, Ibovar's almost dead, but yeah, and their ally won't even join. So let's go ahead and declare for Moonhaven. 
Uh, we won't core these two up. We will simply wait. Now, will Istralor give me access? I highly, highly doubt it. But someone has got to get access to them, right? Yeah, look at that. You fools. You should have never accepted the access. Now you shall die. You big old dummy dumps. Shouldn't have done it. But now I'll have another Elvish Vassal, which is cool. Love me some Elvish Vassals. Uh, for their protection, of course. Uh, of course, for their protection. We wouldn't want... We wouldn't want to vassalize them for, you know, taking advantage of them or anything. No, 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 no. That would be a mistake. Now, they do have some colonial holdings here. Uh, not many, though, so we don't really have to worry about that in any significant capacity. If Yarnrick wants access, sure. Go ahead and do that. Why not? Istralor has rented out Kandati Eri. Uh, even though they have a War Wizard, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. I really don't. Uh, we have... Oh, actually, there are Moonhaven... Moonhaven has troops over here. That's odd and unexpected. Uh, where are all my transports at? That's my question. Right, I put them back into port. I need to bring them back over to uh, the home. Now bring them back home. Uh, with our money, I guess we just build more manufacturers. Sure. Tech, take Diplotech. Thank you. Sounds good, sounds good. Let me just let these guys sit out here for all I care. Nice Gwetin. Of course, the old colony, or the old uh, capital, excuse me, of Gwed, owned by Vertesk. You do love to see it. Uslar dies, has no heir, is our dynasty, and is 40 years old. Wow, 544, huh? Uh, we'll see what happens. Gawed declares war on Blue Scale. Really? Westmores fell under a personal union again with Gawed? And then they declare war on Blue Scale. I mean, <laughs> if I wanted to be really mean, I could ally Blue Scale, but I don't really care. Ruby Hold, that's fine. Come on, go ahead and take the capital, or the fort here. Wex embraces global trade, that's good for them. They're kind of dead. Tornadin's looking massive, going to war with Arnanen. Oh, that's Tur, sorry, that's Tur, not Tornadin. Tornadin starts down here. Uh, as for this, let's go for admin efficiency. We have minus six um, absolutism, as Laurent. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think it's because I just have a lot of uh, estate privileges here. Like, I can get rid of that, get rid of that. Pioneer initiatives, no longer necessary. The nobility, we can get rid of supremacy over the crown. There we go, that brings it up to 18. I still think we probably just want to go for admin efficiency or something like that. Uh, yeah, go ahead and work harder. I was looking at annexing red glades, but it would take way too long. It'd be like in the 1650s, I think it was, that I could annex them, and we're not going to be uh, playing that long, most likely. Oh, they're too big to vassalize. Yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. Yeah, I probably should have figured. Um, that's fine. It's fine. Who can I release? There's no one to release, because it's all elvish. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, well, then we'll just take what we can, and uh, we will peace out. I guess we're coring everything up ourselves. Oh, actually, no, we're not. We are overextended, and that could create enough unrest to let the halflings pop up. So, vessel time. Um, I mean, um, Cremont, um, Akromton, Akromton. I don't know why it was so difficult for me to read that. Uh, can we release here, but they'll only have one core. They'll have to core the rest of this. Uh, I say we just, we just core it all up. This should make it to where we're going under 100, so we'll be all right. Yeah? No. <laughs> just kidding. We're still over. All right, as long as the Halfling Revolt isn't ticking up, then I can deal with unrest. We will survive. Legitimacy question. Okay, well, that's rude. Just want to say that. Very rude. There's no reason to do that to me. Nimscod Rebels. Okay, let's send our boys down south. Go ahead and spend 12,000 manpower. Sure. Uh, go ahead and do that. Yeah, the kobolds are getting rolled. Unfortunate for them. We are also losing tons of money. Uh, advisor maintenance. Ooh. Why? Oh, 
That would be why. Yeah, we're spending a lot of money on advisors. I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, we can't afford a level 5 guy right now. That's just not reasonable. I can't afford a level, like, 2, maybe 3. But level 5 is a little above our pay grade. Uh, Redglades wants a province. Oh, no, I just lose a claim on that. That's fine. I don't, I don't need claims on my vassal. That does not bother me. Not at all. Okay, let's move you guys in here. Deal with those pesky rebels. Uh, sure. Go ahead and accept the mage's help. Goed is going into a lot of wars right now. Not a fan, Goed. Not a fan. He's an entrepreneur, but he's a very aggressive entrepreneur. <laughs> he will make money, and you will like it. And that is the way it will work. I suppose that's his, uh, his philosophy. Alright, so this is my... Navy stack. Oh, I didn't build up heavies. I built up trade ships. Oh, well, I sure am glad that I didn't, uh, didn't send them out somewhere that wasn't going to be useful. Send you out to the Banished Isles. Have fun in the New World. Uh, as for transports, they're all going to be, yeah, over here. And in said New World, let's connect them on up. We'll only take back half, and then we'll have the numbers to be able to move around and such. Because uh, I can't actually get over here because uh, Istralor will not let me go. And I can't currently go toward them. Ah, oh, Moonhaven. Nice. We'll be able to uh, annex them. We'll just take this province and unco That's fine. The aggressive expansion doesn't really bother me. Uh, okay, actually we can we can click that one. Natural Scientist uh, goes ahead and goes bye-bye. Uh, old Damesteer deposit discovered in Tretton. Okay, very nice, very nice. Uh, Creek Gnome. Do we want to accept gnomes? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Also, we should core that up. Fully stated, at least. Um, what other states can I do? Dame's Pearl? Yeah, that's down here, I believe. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We will do that, and we'll accept the, uh, Pearl's Edger Vulture. Ooh, that was actually in Wineport. Uh, I don't like autonomy there. Because uh, Pearl Zedger is a pretty large culture group down here in the south for us, so definitely worth having around. Uh, go ahead and take tech. Better cannons is very good. We'll also, of course, upgrade our cavalry as we are Laurent. That is what we do. We have good cav. Uh, one more event is all we need to get our magical study progress up to maxed out. Be pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, let's get these troops out and into somewhere useful. Uh, yeah, go ahead and work harder. And now we are talented in transmutation. And we are instantly going to start studying more magic. And we are going to study transmutation. We're going to spend more effort. That's fine. And now we just need 1,500 experience to do so. Just not too bad. If I do say so myself, not too bad. Luckily, our vassals are pretty confident when it comes to fielding armies, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, rebels and such in their lands. I don't know about out here, though. <laughs> yeah, out here, I have less confidence in them. A lot less confidence. Uh, I mean, he did move his 13,000 troops over. It just took a little while. Just a, just a little while. Uh, we've got Agrados Heretics up here. I, Agrados, like the... Like Castellus' brother, I guess. I don't know why you would have heretics for them, because uh, he's kind of got kicked out of the religion. He kind of went all bad in the gods' war, and uh, people were not thrilled with him. And then we got Corin, who created problems. Lots of problems. Lots of them. But who am I to say? Who am I to judge? Uh, Busilar, if you die, please die. That'd be a great way to end the series, getting a personal union on Busilar. I may make Arboran break our alliance to attack us, but that's fine. I, they don't scare me. <laughs> they do not scare me. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we're improving with neighbors at least maximum amount there. Uh, we can go ahead and put ship trade power. Might as well. We have the money for it now. Growth of port in Westma. Cool. Increase that. Uh, Gawai declares war upon Everwarf. I thought they just did that. I would have sworn they just did that. Hmm. Westmores, are you loyal? You are very loyal. Well, we tried. We tried, buddy. We uh, we really did. But you really like them, unfortunately. 
really like them. Uh, we can invest in new ideas. Sure, we'll increase our income from our vassals. It's not going to be much of a difference in our income, but it's something, right? We'll take what we can get here. Uh, we do need you at least to level three. Yeah, got to try and make up for the bad ruler we have. Now, he is 51. So, if he dies, I'll probably have to burn. Or we'll just have to accept that that mission cannot be completed. Because, yeah, our heir is not going... To, odds are, I should say. Odds are our heir is not going to be at a point where they are going to be good enough for the mission. I mean, having a legendary in one thing is difficult enough as is. But also being renowned in the second magic school, compared to also just getting it in a random magic school, is pretty low. So, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, loans don't really matter at this point. All good. Reveria has declared independence from Moonhaven. Okay, well, good for them. Good for them. All right. Uh, Istralor. Hello. Moonhaven won't actually join you because they are bankrupt. Really? That's all it took to bankrupt you? I mean, that's... That's kind of sad, man. I'm just saying. I, I didn't even occupy you for that long. I, I just kind of rolled in and moved out. But okay. All right, we'll send these 33 up into Conwell here. Won't be an issue. You move to here. Where are you going? Rion Cass. Oh, right there. Okay. And we will pincer this guy in, and now he will be trapped like a fly. In a fly trap, I guess? I don't know. I didn't really think of the analogy through. Okay. I was just kind of speaking there. Nice. Just doing our thing. Having our vassals come, they can siege a bunch of stuff down. I don't think the 4,000 troops from Menabor is going to help you, uh, Istralor. I really don't think it will. I think you're kind of just done for. I think that's just the way it is. Why do you have 5,000 troops over here? What is wrong with you? You don't own any land? Whatever. Uh, sure. You have fun with your 5,000 troops over there in the New World, Istralor. I'm sure it will help you. I'm sure it will. How could it not? Right? It's so obvious to me. I am just a foolish player who knows not what they say. <laughs> and those 5,000 troops, there's a plan. It's a great plan, and it will definitely, definitely work. Definitely. Well, they do have quite a bit of defensiveness here. It is a level 5 fort. Also, I think we just wiped their navy. I thought for a second my navy got wiped, and I was like, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Conwell, I don't have any claims on you so we can go ahead and just sue you for money and war reps thank you very much appreciate it come on take their capital and then we can peace out i only need my claims that's all i need thank you take all of this yeah aggressive expansion i don't really care they want to join a coalition they are more than welcome to do so they have that right it would be foolish but they have that right now you are guaranteed by what do you think you're doing why what does Vern hold that you could possibly want uh, okay weird they must Vern must have held something out here at one point uh, and that is creating it to where yeah I don't know that's weird whatever uh, I don't care I'm going to go to war with Vernon, and I'm going to take these two provinces off of them, because I have claims. And that is a good reason to go to war, in my opinion. We also have to fight Sagamber, but, uh, yeah, not, not really all that worried about them. I don't think they're going to be any problem. Go ahead, occupy their capital, get out of the war. It's that easy. Use Sagamber for war score. Vern, just make this easier on yourself, man, and just let me have the two provinces. Let me have them. It'd be so easy. I'll let you live. Just these two. 16% war score. Ooh, prestige. Not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. But whatever. Hey, their capital is occupied. 17%. Thank you. It's literally that easy. Literally that easy. I don't even want to full annex you. I just want that. Now, many more. You have... <laughs> you are actually in a defensive war against Vern. You're welcome for saving your life, first of all. Second of all, I'm sorry that I'm now 
<laughs> now going to be uh, reversing that saving your life policy. Uh, frame this just the way it's gotta be. Uh, no hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Just business. It's just business. Let's go ahead and make sure we have level 3 advisors now. So we can very easily afford that. With our money, uh, we can build up some more universities. That's fine. How are we looking on our magical studies here? We are at 100 of 1,500. Fantastic. I mean, I was kind of hoping to finish today. Um, but it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while. Also, they didn't join. Oh, no, this is a different one. This is a different one. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were joining, but no, we're good. Uh, I am going to go ahead and take uh, additional Lilith recruitment for the Liberty Desire and Subjects. As some Liberty Desire is getting somewhat high, and we like to uh, keep that down and not an issue, preferably. Take this and take money. Perfect. Those are our claims right there. And now the only thing we have to do is take this one province off of Moonhaven. Ooh, Truce with Goet is up, you say. Uh, they're a bit far and out of the way for me now, and honestly, they are insignificant on the scale of life. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're going to war, but like, Anbin Land could smash them. Wow, 655. No Great Conqueror, just a straight up 655. And uh, Arboran could also probably smash them. And obviously, we could smash them. So, yeah, they're taking out these small guys. I don't think it'll be a problem, though. Uh, speaking of problems, Westham is having some uh, peasants that are not thrilled. They're not thrilled. They don't like being ruled by the Laurentish, and you know what? I think that's not very cool of them. So I'm going to help our buddy here uh, convince them that it's a good thing. Yes, convince. Convince is a strong word, but that's the word I've decided to use. Go ahead and suppress these rebels, make sure they're not a issue that we can't address immediately. Yeah, sure, you can have access, that's fine. Now we're just chilling. There's nowhere to send our colonists. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. Just waiting for that magical study experience. House of Slorial is shaken. We are actually really far behind here. Uh, we will strengthen government. There is more than just the legitimacy we gain. We do gain some absolutism, which is pretty nice and pretty important. Wed, why did you take a province on our border? I feel like that is... That is very brave of you. I'll give you that. It's very brave. Not sure it's the smart thing to do, but very, very brave. Now, the Aramari Temple here. I could break Arboran's alliance with them uh, if Vertesk had some claims. So let's go ahead and tell them, hey, uh, I'm interested in this land, so why don't you go ahead and get some claims to expand our vassal a little bit more. Uh, bad things are happening over there on the other side of the world. The Raj is falling apart, and the command is massive. Um, they only have 500,000 troops, though, so it's not that bad. Could be worse. Arg Ordston, uh, doing all right. Sirenvar, about 100,000. Nothing crazy there. Nothing crazy. Yeah, now we, we are just chilling. That is what we do. We are just chilling. Uh, it really just comes down to RNG to get the magic stuff. Um, but yeah, we're, we're only at, like what, 300? Yeah, we're only at 300. We've been kind of just chilling, hoping that it fires and it doesn't. Um, so I thought this was going to be the last episode. I was pretty sure it was going to be the last episode, but maybe it won't be. Or maybe I'll just skip forward in time to when we complete it. I mean, that's also something I could do. Just leave it on speed five. Uh, as for next idea group, doesn't it doesn't matter. Offensive, I love offensive. Example to us all, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and accept help. As for influence ideas, I will take that, and I'll start the integration of Red Glades. Not sure if it's reasonable, though. Yeah, 1644, it's 14 years in the future. Uh, obviously, we can get rid of 5% through the Noble Integration uh, privilege. That is all right with me. We have Rebels that are ready to pop up. It's fine. I'm gonna take that. Yeah. Keep looking around, see what's going on in the world. Yerlium has grown like crazy with this uh, militarist that they have. Grown like crazy. Um, the centaurs are pretty weak. 
I mean, if, if they only have 37,000, that means that they have lost quite a bit. Second year is, I mean, I would like to say they're doing good, but they're just not. I mean, they only have 64,000 troops, and there is only one province between them and the command. Uh, or two, if they go this way. So, yeah. Um, the command definitely wants, out, wants all that land uh, that's on their border, so we'll see. Though they will probably be more focused on Buvari and, than they are over here in Bolwar. That is more along the lines of what they are going to be looking for. Library research helps. That's good. That's very good. Uh, who's still alive? You're still alive. Spider Wretch. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. They don't make it most of the time, so it's cool to see them still around and kicking. Uh, Arnanen is getting wrecked. Also, someone over here in the New World is just going ham. It's you. I don't care about what you're doing. Please stop. Please stop giving me updates on what you're doing. I don't care. <laughs> it's going a little too hard. Alright, Empress Consort is dead. Very, very dead. And our ruler is 60, so... It's getting more and more likely that he just dies, and then we won't be able to complete the Ruby Crown, which would be really sad. It'd be super sad. Ooh, I can convert things. I don't need to. That's fine. We don't need to. Burn, whatever. I also need to go back in and accept Moon Elf, right? Oh, no. We already have it accepted. Cool. I know that at one point we got rid of that, and I wanted to make sure that we still got it back. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, that's someone else's land. Okay, well, never mind. You're allowed to be there. <laughs> no comments. No comments for me. Our uh, truce with Moonhaven is up in two years, so that's nice. We'll be able to get all of the claims from our mission tree done for. Uh, except for one. That our ally owns, but that's fine. I'm not too worried about it. If our ally wants one province that we should have, they can have it. I'm not gonna make a big fuss over it. Unlike the AI, I'm not going to go kill my longtime ally for four development fish province. That really doesn't seem worth it. Mm-mm. It's just not. Go ahead and force surf them. Uh, let's improve relations with our subject countries. That is something we need to do. They are getting a little low on the whole relation portion of our, uh, well, relationship. And that's not good. Not good at all. It's five legitimacy, that's fine. This isn't even Moonhaven's fort. Where, or capital, is this? Ah, yes. That is a good capital. Sure, 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 sure. If that's what you need to tell yourself, Moonhaven, you go for that. Uh, can I threaten you? That would make my life way, way easier. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it'd make my life way easier if you just accepted it. They're close. Uh, relative strength of alliances, base value, relative worth of province, and not a Laurentish core. Okay, well, I'll just kill you for it then. <laughs> like, you had the easy way out and you chose to be difficult. You chose this Moonhaven, I'm just saying. I'm sorry. It's just the way it's gotta be. Also, these ships can uh, go into port here. We can send them out to probably there. Huh, okay. Now we're sieging that down. All good there. Uh, as for taking their capital and such, uh, I don't have any more transports over in the New World, I don't think. Aha, uh -huh, I lie. I have 18. So let's get some troops over there to their capital. Like a good plan. Good plan. Great plan. In fact, great plan. Get them right here. We'll just land right on Moonhaven. I don't... Oh, they do have quite a navy, actually. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's just go land. Yeah, see, they're, they're trying to catch me there. All right, send in the infantry. Fantastic. Uh, yes. Th this is what I want to see. Lots and lots of events on getting some, uh, study progress done. General dies. Okay, well, we do need to send some heavies over to the New World, so let's just grab, like, I don't know all of them and go camp over here try and get access to that capital preferably that's what i would like to do nice more magical study progress okay study progress is really heating up now only 500 more to go i think we will be able to complete this as long as our dude doesn't die which could be very bad 
Come on, game. Just just give me this, please. I beg of you. Yep. Arden declares war on Gawed. Say goodbye to the old Gawedis. Big sad. Not gonna miss you in the slightest, though. So not really sad at all. Get wrecked. Uh, we call Boosalar in. I, I really don't think that's necessary. I feel like that's bullying. <laughs> Calling Boosalar in would be big bully hours. And we don't need to do that. Alright, there goes their navy. We own all of that. All we need to do is actually siege this down, which we did. Perfect, perfect. Uh, where is all of Moonhaven's land? Can I fully annex this dude? Where is your secret province, Moonhaven? Where is it? Aha, up here in the north. That's still not a full annex. Really? Okay, well, I don't really care. So, just clear the offer, take the province, take the money. Thanks. We're sending the elves back to Aelintir. Look, we're doing exactly what we promised. We wanted the elves to go back to Aelintir. They're there now. They're not here. Okay? Just saying. We're, we're doing what we said we were going to do. No one can get mad at us for doing it. Mm-hmm. Except all of these people. Da, 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 da. Who did you just declare war on? West Tipney? Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, it's the one they need. Turn of blind eye. In corruption, we'll buy it down. It's okay. Uh, Arg Ortson's going to be going to war with Irlium. Huh. Oh, you are... You have a bit of a coalition against you, my guy. Bit of a coalition. Never mind. Irlium was declaring war on them. That makes a lot more sense. Makes a lot more sense. Uh, I do need to get to Military Tech 19. We are a little bit behind because I went for ideas instead of the uh, tech, which is a bit of a mistake on my part, but it's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and strengthen that. Perfect. Finish off our reforms. Comet cited the economy, fools. Uh, we were doing really well on researching magic, and then it just stopped. We're still at a thousand. Game, please, I beg of you. Give this to me. He's so old. He's so old. He's 66 years old. Oh, rebellion mages. <laughs> please, don't let him die. Please. Yes? That's 200? Yeah, yes? That's 100? I just need one more event. I just need one more event. Please, game. Please. Just one more event with 200 experience. That's all I'm asking for. Then we can do the cool ruby crown thing. And I have no idea what it does, but I want to know. I want to know. Please. Yes. Okay, one more event. Just one more. One more event, please. I will burn. I will burn at this point if he dies. Game? Don't test me. I'll do it. I'll do it. Please. Is there like a spell I can cast? Uh, no. Nope. There's not. Uh, increases chances of unregulated research events doing re Do it. Do it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emma Cost. <laughs> they, they were not thrilled with that. Be loyal. Come on, game. I've even given you unregulated research. I'm, I'm the bad guy now. No? Nothing? Don't. Don't, don't die. Don't do it. Hey, that's a merchant guild event. I'm looking for a looking for like a magical event where you give me some magical study progress. You know how it be? Huh? Oh. Well, that's not exactly what I'm looking for, but I do appreciate it. Okay. Look, game, I know we've had our issues, um, but I would like to complete this. So anytime, anytime that you feel willing to uh, to do this, that's not what I'm looking for. I'd appreciate it. Just, uh, need one. Just need one. Well, uh, dwarves are hurt. Uh, novel findings? Oh, no, that's just innovativeness. Burning Sphere doing good. Command doing good. Excellent Viceroy's. That's cool. Is this Avdo Kanzan? Oh. That's rough. <laughs> uh, that is rough. They have migrated. Migrated east. 
So I ruined that for that uh, vertical drone deer run, but that uh, didn't work out. Big rip, big rip. Also, Katarata, big rip. Port Mage is dead. Okay. What if we simply gave me one event? Just saying, game. I'm just saying. Wouldn't be difficult. Ooh, Istranar is dying. Sheriff's on T. Nope. Royal Marriage with Arboran. It's up. Uh, what if I Royal Marry you? Hey, if he dies, we get a personal union. If Pusilar dies, they got a, they got an heir. Right, they really don't like me. Yeah, we have a bit of aggressive expansion on people. Just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Our ally just has 115 or whatever. Somehow it's not maxed out with everybody, which I find hard to believe. Um... Yeah. Yes! No! No! That's the opposite of yes! Come on! They baited me. The game baited me so hard right there. So hard. I thought that was it. I thought we were in the monies, but no. It was just saying, haha, you're bad. You must study more. Who wants to study more, though? Uh, like, I've done enough work. Just, just give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, please do not make me keep losing stability. I need my stab. I don't want the halflings to become independent. Independent halflings are bad. Very, very bad. <sighs> well, we might actually end up annexing the red glades. I hope not. <laughs> I hope they just stay here and then we can finish it out. But yeah, we need 100 progress. 100, just one event. There we go. Let's get them two Diplo rep back, so people should be loyal again and happy. Uh, I wish there was something in here to help me do stuff faster, but apparently not. What rebels do we have? Oh, those are over in the New World. Not my problem. Ugh, come on, game. I've been sitting here for like almost a decade now, just waiting. I've gotten all the claims, I've done all the things. That you wanted me to do. Look, I own all that. Sure. I guess I could fight Tur, who looks like they got uh, wrecked. Looks like they had to give some land back. Oh uh, yeah, sure, we'll fight Tur. Why not? Well, I don't have anything better to do, at least. Why don't you move on over? I don't know why you're going the long way. Corruption? Uh, nope. I am not losing stability game. You can't make me. Wait, I take that back. You can't make me, but please don't. Please. No. These are not the events I want. How difficult is it to simply get the, uh, the stuff? How difficult? We're getting very close to Rebellionism, which is a very bad thing for me, by the way, in case you didn't know. We have lost the siege of many burrows. Well, that is rude. To wed. That's very rude. Why would you do that? I didn't actually expect you to come and take my stuff down. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Build the mage tower. It's fine. Now kill Goed. Ah, uh, at least we get to kill the Kuwaiti more. Oh, goodbye. Backbite. Woo! -hoo. You love to see it. You do love to see it. At least I do. I don't know about you. I do. Honestly, how long... How long does it take to get an event, So, Because, like, this seems like it's been kind of a long time. Um... Didn't think it'd be this difficult to get. Saying. Huh, well, looks like this episode's gonna go a little longer than uh, usual, but that's okay. It is the last one, so... Oh, minorities demand... <laughs> Look, I will study extra hard this year, okay, game? I will study extra hard. That means you just gotta give me one teeny tiny little event. That's it. Just one event, and we're good. We're good. That's, no. That's not it. I got excited, I saw a pop-up. I'm just sitting here. The game is baiting me. Fusilar is eventually gonna want to break their alliance, because they're gonna want a lot of my provinces. Uh, go ahead and take that idea. Rise and support among the low Laurentish. I suppose that's cool. Doesn't really do much for me. 
West Morris wants access. Why? Are they declaring an independence war? Nope. This isn't a different war. Defending someone. Rebellion Insight. Um, I'll take the Prestige. Yes! Yes, I will spend an unlimited amount of money to do this game. I will. Always wait for the month tick. Hey. And he didn't die. Oh my god. Hey, shout out to Emperor uh, Galen the first who lived to be 74 years old. I mean, he's terrible, but he's a he's a powerful mage and that's what I needed So the ruby crown uh, Rumors say that the ruby crown of Laurent houses the spirit of the elf Yoriel one of our nation's modern founders and that if a truly worthy monarch arises Laurent's destiny could be revealed Ooh. The ruby crown awakened my emperor. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, and that was it the mages of the Ruby Order performed their unbinding ritual on the crown in hopes of freeing whatever entity or spirit was trapped within. It was said that the elf Yoriel, the founder of House Soloriel, and the mother of Laurent bound her soul to the crown in order to guide the future of the country for the rest of time, and now hopefully she would be free. The ritual is complete. Did anything happen, my emperor? Is there anything different? No. I guess it was a fable after all, you reply. I was lying to the mage, of course. I am now free. Oh, 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 so interesting. So plus one yearly legitimacy and absolutism, plus two monarch admin skill, plus two monarch diplomatic skill, and plus two monarch military skill until the end of the game. So it seems that the spirit of an elf has now taken over the emperors and empresses of Laurent. I guess that's what you get for trusting elves. I I suppose. All right. Well, that is not what I expected to happen, but that is a pretty cool place to leave it off. Huh. So now Laurent is ruled by uh, an elf spirit thing, kind of. I don't know. Weird. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it off. I would like to thank you all for watching. I had a lot of fun in this series. Uh, obviously, this is a little bit shorter, shorter than most other series, but we did start off as the rent so we're already big and bad and scary and we had a lot of fun just dismantling really early on and having a good old time uh, i'll leave you guys here with a time lapse of our nation i would like to thank you all for watching and i hope to see you in the next one